You thought I wasn't going to come back to it, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Hey, people of the Interweb. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to the deed. Yeah, I said welcome back. That's right. I'm back. I'm doing it again. This technically is the third time I recorded this, but somewhere the second recording I did got lost and never uploaded, so... I sort of know and remember, maybe, what to do as far as, like, this goes. <laughs> Don't think that was over-exaggerated enough, but eh. Whatever. Let's start a new game. Oh, we could, we could be completely slow. That works, too. Pilgrim Adventures. Great. Fantabulous. <laughs> gonna skip the intro if you guys have not seen the intro go check out my first video that I did on this hi I'm slow as fuck good evening Mr. Ron may I take your coat sure Take this blasted thing off of me. <laughs> I almost got the line. Almost. It's been a while. You're new, aren't you? Sophie is my name. I recognize you from your pictures, Mr. Aron. I'm not new, exactly. I've been employed by your family for almost a year. It's just that you have never visited before. I have been busy. Do not judge me and my... Uh... Appointments. <laughs> my work keeps me very busy, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately. I'm sure that's the word I meant to use. I understand. I've been away from my family a lot since I started this job. You are here now, and I'm sure you are eager to meet with the others. Your father is in the library on your left, and your mother is the p in the parlor, which is on your right. Your sister is upstairs in her room, I think. Thanks. Thank you for your help, Sophia. You're very welcome, Mr. Aran. I will be in the kitchen preparing dinner. I'll sound the bell when dinner is served. Shut up, phone! Okay. Well, um... The one thing I did not do that I'm going to do now is go down here. The dusty old wine cellar is where your father likes to practice billiards. The laundry room is next door, and beyond that, the servants' quarters. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go in here. And on the side. Boop. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. What can I do for you? You seem quite distressed about something. I do? Well, I'm sure it's nothing you should trouble yourself with, sir. You are a slow talker. Talk faster, damn it. <laughs> Your concerns are mine. Apparently. Come now, George. We've known each other many years. If something is troubling you, I want to hear about it. If you insist, sir. Ever since the new maid arrived, I feel like I've been, I'm being nudged towards early retirement. She's obviously being trained to become the new housekeeper. She is taking over my responsibilities one by one. I have tried discussing the matter with your mother, but it's no use. She hasn't been herself lately either. But please don't trouble yourself about it, sir. I probably shouldn't have said anything at all. So this new maid is something of a bully, then. I do not tolerate bullies! Holy hell, I shook my camera. <laughs> 
<laughs> this new maid is quite domineering then. She didn't seem that way to me. She is subtle in her ways. But mark my words, she wants to be running this house. Okay, gosh. Perhaps it's not a coincidence that your sister's mental health has become worse since Sophie arrived. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, but I have my suspicions. Great! She is as cold and heartless a woman as I've ever known. All right, fine. If that's how it is, I don't even know how it is. How is it again? I don't know. I should say no more. Please excuse me, sir. Well, fine. Mark my words, I will. What? Can I look at this? You find nothing of interest among the maid's supplies. Aha! Uh -huh. This is the maid's room. A broken mirror sits upon the maid's desk. Odds are that it belongs to your sister. And the maid has been hiding it here after accidentally breaking it. Well! A shard of glass with the mirror would be a poetic murder weapon. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. You can only pick up two objects. Yes, I'm sure. Take the sharp thing. Yes, you heard me right. The sharp thing. Alright, let's leave. And talk to other people. Mother! Alright, so I'm going to do the same, which is the goody-goody two-shoes reaction, um, as I did the first time I played this. If you want to see the dialogue, if you want to hear the dialogue, just go ahead and... Okay, what the hell. Oh. Oh. Here to make amends. Blah, blah, blah. We've heard this dialogue before. Will she be okay? Send worried. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I remember. Now, if I'm incorrect, I apologize. Uh, I, it's been a while since I've actually watched the footage at all. Okay. We're done here. Apparently. Father! Okay. Don't even think about sitting there. Shut up, Dad. No one likes you. Hello, Father. Father remained silent. Told me you'd never enter this house again, boy. Why are you here? Uh, I remember I said this. Shut up, Dad. You're not very nice to me. I think this one, the one I'm about to choose for this one, is a bit different. I don't think I did this last time, so I'll go ahead and read this one. It's too late, Father. I have my own life now. My own home, my own job. Damn them both to hell. Do you think you're pathetic, little... I can't read, because it's not there. Pathetic little real life really means anything. Fuck you, Dad. You you are the last of a noble dynasty that stretches back hundreds of years. What does your life mean next to that? Everything. You're the same snot nosed brat you always are. Fuck you. Can't, okay, this one's the same. This one is the same. I remember saying this. Goodbye. You snot-nosed brat. You're calling me that. You're... You're worse. You recall this old grandfather clock very well. Blah, blah. I don't care. Alright. I don't know if I saw this last time. But... Kabushki!
Everything is blood red now. I... I don't know. Of course you do. Use that head for once, boy. Great Uncle Thomas. <sighs> what initials do you see on that silverware? CB. And what kind of halfwit spells Thomas with a C? I don't know. Well, I do. It's the kind of halfwit that's standing next to me. That's what I've got to say to that. Now, which of your ancestors owned that silver chalice? If you get this one wrong, there will be ser serious consequences, boy. Um. Wow. I had a very douchebaggy father. I'll say one thing for my father. His style of parenting has always been consistent. That's not good. Especially if it's that. All right, time to talk. Okay, what? Hello. Yes, I want to know what time dinner will be served. It won't be long, Mr. Aron. I'm preparing your father's favorite, and I want to make sure it's cooked perfectly. Take your time. There's no rush, really. I honestly don't know if this is the one I did the first time or not. It's just been too long. You look like you're sweating yourself to death in here. Oh, you are kind, but please don't worry about me. It's my job. Okay. Alright. Suit yourself. Blah. Now, I'm going to take the knife just because it pins her. Because she's the one I'm going to try to pin. I don't remember what I took specifically. Um, but I'm going to take the knife after I talk to... My sister! And let's see. Check the mirror. You look at your reflection in the mirror. Funny, you don't look much like a murderer. Looks can be deceiving. Howdy! Hey, sis! Mother says dinner is ready. Go away, little rat! Jennifer, what are you what are you doing? Why do you stare at your reflection like that? Stop making fun of me! I'm not making fun. I really want to know. What's so bad about that? I'm just... I just wish that... What, Jennifer? What do you wish? I wish you'd go drown it. Whoa! I know I've read this before, but what? I'm sorry. It shocks me every time. That's... That's just... Dark. Mother's waiting for you. Okay. Sister, you're a demon. My sister's obsession with mirrors goes right back to her childhood. I never did understand why. Well, some things are meant to be that way. Hey, sis. What up? Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I'd smell a rat. Have you come to see me, little rat? How you feeling? Hello, Jennifer. How have you been? How have I been? What an odd thing for a little rat to ask. Normally they just say squeak, squeak. Well, I don't feel like squeaking. Gah! You used to have a pet rat, didn't you? Remember what I did to him? Oh, how he squeaked. Such great pain for such a little creature. I don't want to know. What do you want to talk to me about, little rat? So you're still collecting. How many mirrors do you... Okay, this one I actually did ask. How many mirrors do you have? 73. Can you use them all at once? I mean, yeah, but you'd have to have a ginormous room to do that. Go away. Well, fuck you too. Your sister's too busy staring at herself in the mirror. You're actually doing your wardrobes. Find a pair of silky undergarments with her initials embroidered. Ooh. Hold on. I might have an idea on what to do. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Yes, I'm sure. So, blah. Again, Abella invites me. This time to dinner, it seems. Okay. 
Dinner is served. Sophia, could you come here a moment? Oh, gosh. What do you want? Yes, Mom? Pour me some more wine. Yes, Mom? But, Madam? Oh, what is it, George? Alright, we, we've heard of this before. La! Seriously, if, if you guys... Okay, so I picked the first one. I don't remember whether I picked the first one or not last time, but just in case... Careful, Mother. If you drink much more, you might end up embarrassing yourself. Aran, what a rude little rat you are. That's enough out of you. How dare you insult your mother. An in interfering little rat, isn't he, Daddy? Alright, blah, blah, blah. Perhaps I did speak out of turn. I apologize. I'm sorry! You'd better not let it happen again. Sophia, could you come here, please? Yes, Miss Jennifer? I just wanted to say that that was the loveliest meal I've ever tasted. I don't know how you do it. You're you cunning pixie. Whoa, hey! Hey! No hitting on the maid at the dinner table! <laughs> Oh, you are so good to me, you sweet thing. Uh, none. None for me. I'm good. No, I know I've read this, so... Please, Jennifer. Let's all try to be civil. Alright, blah, blah, blah. This part's the same. This part is the same. This part is the same. Okay. Doing the deed. Here we go. <laughs> now, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to plant evidence in the kitchen... For those who don't know what the evidence is going to be yet, then, well, blah. I can't remember whether this is how I did it the first time or not, but... Meh. Items. Just, just in case I screw up, save game here. File one. Items. Undergarments. You don't particularly relish the thought of carrying these around in your pocket, but needs must. Do you want to plant the evidence in this room? Yes! You decide to hide them among the crockery in the kitchen. Not too well hid in mind. Well, hopefully people find it. And... You're sure you want to enter the drawing room? Once inside, there is no turning back. Yes! You see Jennifer staring out the window ahead of you. Lost in one of her strange moods. She hasn't noticed you enter the drawing room. Now is the time. Choose the murder weapon. Broken glass! <laughs> Ugh. Sister cries out in surprise as you grab her from behind. And you quickly muffle those cries with one hand before pressing the shard of broken glass against your throat. Ugh! Okay. Okay. She struggles valiantly as you cut her throat open. But you manage to hold her in place until finally she goes limp. Drop her lifeless body to the ground along with the broken glass. It's time to leave this room before your deed is discovered. Okay. I got ten seconds to leave. Wonderful. One. Make sure I'm warm. I'm gonna make it to my room. 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 Ah, uh, Almost made it to my room. Sounds like my deed has been discovered. Well, I can't say I was in my room now, otherwise that'd be a lie. Fuck! Hi! Hello! Alright, so this part's kind of simple, like last time. Just kind of have to go through it all. Damn right. Blah, blah, blah. I've heard your dialogue before. I don't need to hear your shenanigans again. <laughs> Interview, okay. Thank you for joining me. Blah, blah, blah. Before we begin, 
Is this really necessary? I'm afraid so. Turn around, please. I don't have weapon on me! Now that's out of the way. Let's move on to the interview. Okay? As you know, I have already spoken to everyone else who was present in that house at the time of your sister's death. We have also now completed our initial search of the house, but we'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First of all, we will run through all of your activities since your arrival. Maid says that you and the butler arrived shortly after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. Brand new job here that I really don't need because I just freaking... Ah! To see when dinner... Why did you decide to visit the kitchen? To see when dinner would be ready. That's the truth. I mean, come on! I was hungry and wanted to know when dinner would be served. That's exactly what happened. That makes sense. Later on, you had a conversation with your mother, Gloria, in the parlor. She told me that you were unusually cordial. Something about wanting to apologize and make amends. I was being sincere. What is so bad about that? Yes, I wanted to clear the air between myself and my family. I see. Do you think it is slightly suspicious that you suddenly wanted to re reconcile after all this time? No! I don't think so. Very well, then. She says you spoke briefly about your sister. Apparently, you seemed quite concerned about her well-being. We were worried that my sister might attempt suicide. My mother and I were concerned that my sister might try to take her own life as she had attempted once before. She had, had she? I will take a note of that. You went to see your father in the library. I understand your conversation became quite heated. Yeah. And this part I know I've read before. I see. That's good to know. You discussed the prospect of your moving back to Dunshield. You refused to do so under any circumstances, I understand. I couldn't bear another day living with my family. I hated every moment that I lived in this house. Yeah, I see. Do you hate your family, Mr. Bruce? That's not what I said. Right. Let's discuss your conversation with the butler. I understand you spoke about the new maid, Sophia. The butler seems to have some concerns about her. This is what I missed the first time. He told me that the new maid is a bully. Not really, but I mean, close. I believe cold and heartless were the words he used. I see. Interesting. Did you speak to your sister before dinner? Yes, I did. Yes, I went to her room to see her. I see. And what did you discuss? Just small talk. Talked about her mirrors. We spoke about the terrible weather. And how long it has been since we last saw one another. Okay, that's not true. That part's not true. Okay, then. Let's move on to the events that took place during dinner. Apparently you made a comment about your mother's drinking habits. I just wanted to get under her skin. That's all. Yeah, that's that's it. For her own good. Someone needs to comment. Okay, that's that's what I would say. Do you think this has anything to do with her difficulties in coping with your sister's condition? Probably, yeah. Uh, interesting. Now, I need to ascertain your location at the time of your sister's... Damn it! I was trying to make it to my bedroom! I was upstairs! Ow! I was upstairs. No. No. The landing. I'll be honest. I was on the landing, okay? I see. Thank you. As I said earlier, we have completed our initial search of the property. The search did not turn up any items which gave me cause to suspect anyone in particular. What? I'm curious about the murder weapon. Broken glass seems to have come out of your sister's mirror. We found the rest of it in the maid's room. We have established that you have been to the servants' quarters this evening. However, we can't rule out suicide, especially given your sister's mental condition 
And, okay, you said this before. It is all very interesting. While some of your behavior this evening has been particular, I can find no cause for any significant suspicion. Hell yeah! Well, there is some suspicion regarding your father. I don't currently regard him as a serious suspect. Okay? I also think the evidence surrounding the maid might be worth another look. Despite any question marks about your mother, I don't think for a moment that she did this. Despite her condition, I don't believe your sister committed suicide. Well, you're right about that one. <laughs> now, as for what happens next, you can go for now. But I would appreciate it if you did not leave town. I may have more questions for you later. Oh boy. I think another interview with the maid will be required also. A verdict of suicide seems unlikely, I'm afraid. I'm like fingers crossed on this. Please! Let me win! Oh, poo. You are not brought... Although the inspector harbored suspicions about you, you were not brought in for further questioning. Sophia, the maid, was taken in for questioning and initially became the prime suspect, but it was determined that there was not sufficient evidence to lead to an arrest. Well, fuck. You had gotten away with murder, it seemed. However, you had not given them sufficient reason to suspect anyone else either. And your father harbored suspicions of his own. Some years later, you were surprised to see his obituary in a national newspaper and horrified to learn that he had given his estate and possessions to a trust organization. You had committed this foul act for nothing. And now there was nothing at all to give you comfort in the long night when the demons of your past came to haunt you. Well, shut up! I don't need your screaming. Now, I mentioned something like this at the beginning. I don't know how many episodes of this I'm going to do, but they're going to be widespread. You guys, for those of you who know about the first episode or have seen the first episode of this, um, it was done pretty ways, pretty ways back. But yeah, so if I do this again, it'll be widespread. It's going to be a very long time until I do it again. If I do it at all. Just because I I have to be in really the mood to do it. But in any case, I am going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for me on any games to play in the future... Uh, comment below and let me know. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!